what's going on everybody, A Dog X here with another video of my ugly face. Have you seen me? I hope not. Today, we are finally doing a video that I should have done a while ago, but I couldn't. I am a little over 200 subscribers late. It's the 1,000 subscriber Q&A special. This is where I ask people to obviously ask me questions and I answer them on camera, except I didn't have one since I had a thousand subs. Now I finally have one. It's very late, but I figured I'd do it now since I can. Okay? So, hope you guys enjoy these questions and answers, and yeah. So, the first question is from SSX Deus Easy, or I don't know how the hell you pronounce it, I just call him Deus. Why do you think people play like scrubs on Storm 4? Hashtag 1000K Q&A. It's a very simple answer, really. Tryhards. They think winning is the only thing they gotta do. It's only broken if they don't like it. It's that simple. Basically, people play like scrubs on Storm 4 because all they care about is winning and taking advantage of the broken stuff. They only think winning is fun. They don't think playing for fun is fun. They think it's only fun if you win. So yeah, there's my answer. Hope it's good enough for you. That's why I quit Storm 4. Yuan6 asks, My question, are you or have you ever been a homosexual? Hashtag a dog closet question. Contrary to popular belief, no. I have never been gay or bisexual, and I am not gay or bisexual. Just because I have pink hair, just because I act like a freaking flaming idiot, does not mean I'm gay. I don't take offense to this, I'm just saying. It's always hilarious how people think I'm gay just because of the, like, my hair and some of the things I like. For example, I want to cosplay as female anime characters. Why? Well, because some of those characters have the best designs compared to male characters. Like, most of the characters in Naruto are pretty basic, like the Raikage, but other characters, like in Angel Beats, Kanade is like a little bit better. So yeah. Not gay, not have ever been gay, 100% straight, but single as fuck. Travis asks, what got you started in the recording biz? Well, let's see. It's a lot of different reasons. For one, I wanted to entertain people. Like, that's been one dream of mine. Originally, I wanted to be an actor. But overall, I just want to make people laugh in some way. Just entertain them. Make them feel that. Make them have a good time. If they're upset... Maybe I have the possibility of getting them come to a video and just feeling better by having a laugh or something. Another thing is that I got inspired by a couple guys, you know, like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, some of the, even the smaller YouTubers like Coach Topher, Eric Van Wilderman, uh, Smarty, that kind of stuff. Like, some of them just make, got me some of the motivation to try this and see it where it goes from there. And while I'm not doing very good, sure, I have 1,200 subs, but it may be a low number, but in my eyes, I'm a, I have at least entertained enough. I'm at least entertaining enough to have reached 1,200 subscribers. That means 1,200 people have stuck to me because they either like the content I do or like me for me. So I guess it's a good reason to have gotten in the recording biz, you know? Josh Slight asks, what's your favorite cooler? Perk. Solomon asks, how has YouTube affected your life? Not really much. I mean, I'm not that big a YouTuber for it to have affected my life in any way other than one. Like, when I first started school here at my college, I was more focused on just watching YouTube videos, playing video games, and doing my homework. But ever since I started YouTube, I will admit that it's kind of been slowing down when it comes to my homework. I failed a class my first semester last year because I was too focused on my YouTube channel. And while I'm very focused on my YouTube channel right now, I don't plan on making that same mistake twice. So that's why you might see a drop of... Um, video content. Like, I don't upload every day anymore because I have too much stuff going on. Like, I have a job here at school. I've got classes to take. So, yeah, I'm even in a 300 level uh, speech class and theater class. So, I'm going to be very busy. So, I can't upload every day. I try to record videos whenever I have time, specifically on the weekends. But other than that, that's really uh, all that's affected my life when it comes to YouTube. So, yeah. 
But I can't say that because I've gotten started on YouTube, I have definitely made a lot more friends than I used to have. Um, some of them have been some, I would consider some really close friends, some even brothers, like Solomon here, who asked the question. He's really cool. I consider him like a, kind of like a brother because we're cool with each other. Made some good friends like Papa Berto, Anime Analyst, always some good laughs. So that's probably one of the best things that's happened since I started YouTube. Seth Stevens asks, alright, legit question time. Do you think KH2 is the least floaty game? Now, for those who don't play Kingdom Hearts, uh, what he's asking is, I think, um, like, do I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is, like, the least slow game, like, as in, like, the action is fast-paced, but the combat is, like, it's, you have to float around. I, it's hard to explain Kingdom Hearts, it's hard to explain in general, but... I know what he means, I cannot explain it, so I'm just going to end this question here by saying I do not think it's the least floaty. I really wish I could answer better, but I'm having trouble putting the words together. Anime Moments asks, When did you start liking anime, and what makes you like anime? What made me started liking anime was when I was in 6th grade, so what grade am I in? I'm a junior in college now, so I think that's... Wow. It's three years, four, oh. Like, I think that was like eight to ten years ago. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it was during sixth grade, and I started watching Inuyasha on Adult Swim. Like, I saw it. I fell in love with it right away. And ever since then, I started getting into more and more anime. And now you obviously see in the background, you don't see my posters right now. But yeah, ever since I started watching Inuyasha, that's what's got me into anime. And now I'm into any kinds of anime. As for his other question, what makes me like anime? The animation style, the story, the uh, combat, like the battle sequences that you don't typically find in cartoons, except for Gumball now. <laughs> and and the uh, memorable characters. Like there's even though cartoons have a shit ton of memorable characters, for me, anime has the most memorable characters. Like everyone can know uh, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. People know Naruto. People know Inuyasha. For me, one of the more memorable characters is Hibiki from Sinful Gear. So yeah, it's all various kinds. So that's why. FIFA Ruto asks, how did you come up with the name A Dog X? So I've said this story um many times. I don't know how many times I've said it on stream, but I'll still say it again. Um, when I came up with the name A Dog X, I was a really stupid kid. I was one of those kids who's like, oh, I want to be cool. I want to be gangster. Yo, thug life, check me out. Freaking gang signs and stupid shit like that. And so I came up with the name A-Dog because A starts my first name and Dog because generic. They, you know, like generic rapper names like Lil Wayne, Lil Romeo, Lil everything. So that's why. But what made it become A-Dog X was when Super Smash Bros. Brawl came out, and me and some people that I met on there were just joking around with our names. There's this guy called Dr. X, who I played with on Smash, and me and a bunch of other people just joked around and put X at the end of our name. And that's when I decided to keep it, because I like simply the way it looks. Like, capital A, capital D, and the capital X, the way it's synchronized, and kind of the way it sounds, it's, uh, it kind of stuck with me. And that was also in 6th grade, by the way, too, so I've had that name ever since. So yeah, that's how I came up with it. Hikari asks, how many nicknames do you have? Um, let's see, uh, Hikari actually calls me Pinky because of the hair, so that's one. Um, I guess you call it a separate one because she always calls me Pinky-kun. Um, I have a friend named Catbug who calls me Senpai because of my Steam name, which was Adog X Senpai. Obviously here, a dog X, that counts as one. Um, my aunt calls me Skittle sometimes because there was a point where I had blonde and red hair, and she thought it looked like Skittles. So that's why she calls me Skittle sometimes. And she also calls me Tony for a shortened name, and she's the only one I ever allowed to call me that. And let's see... During my freshman year of basketball, I always used to wear a Keyblade necklace, and my coach got sick of it, 
So he gave me the nickname Keymaster. He didn't know what Kingdom Hearts is, but because of the Keyblade on my neck, he decided to just call me Keymaster. And I have a sweater with that name too. I stuck with it. And the last nickname that I remember, which would be the uh, eighth one, is Wolverine. Because I played basketball in like a skate park and a public park a lot with other guys. And they called me Wolverine because I used to have hair longer than my shoulders, like my natural hair. And I used to have like a full beard sometimes. And because I, and because like my arms and entire body's hairy, including my chest here, they called me Wolverine simply because of all the hair. So yeah, eight nicknames as far as I remember. Edo Stormclouds asks, do you watch hentai? Hinata Huga asks, do you have a waifu? Nah, you know, I may be into anime and everything, but I don't really find the concept of waifus... I don't understand it. Like, it's not even real. Your waifu is not real. Stop fantasizing. I just don't understand it. I think it's weird. I may love anime, but there are certain things anime-related that I just can't understand. So no, don't have a waifu. Crying out loud, please no. Justo asks, what are your goals in YouTube? So I've had a few goals that I think of, or that I could think of. One of them is obviously, you know, make a bunch of friends, like a, but I've already reached that goal. So I made a good amount of friends, so that goal's reached. Um, a million subscribers, which is like the pipe dream for me. And I mean, if I could reach a million subscribers, then that would be incredible, but I need to keep working on improving my content before that's even possible. And it takes forever just to get to 10,000. It took Afro Sanju years just to get to 10,000. Now he's already over 200,000 because of how better his content popped up. And another goal of mine is, to, you know, just be known throughout the world. Uh, I know it's a big dream, bigger than just a million subscribers, but could, could you imagine, like, Going to a convention, people recognizing you, wanting to take pictures with you, wanting you to sign something. That's like a big dream of mine. That would make me super happy. And not to mention, it would make other people's happy. And obviously, the other one that I've stated before, entertain people. Simple goals, but i got to work hard to get them. Nintendo948 asks, LOL, I've got a goofy question for you, Adog. If you had the power to cry out ice cream, would you do it? No! Why would I want to cry out ice cream? That shit would melt. I'm warm blooded. If I could cry out ice cream, that would hurt. Or that would, no, it would hurt. It would hurt my soul because I can't eat it. And it would be weird because it's coming from my eyes. And why would I want to eat something coming from my eyes? Why? No. Please, no. Jess asks, favorite animal? LMAO. Don't know why I put an LMAO there, but okay. I've always debated on my favorite animal. Uh, I think it's a three-way tie between a dog, cat, and a fox. Because cats are awesome, dogs are awesome, foxes are just adorable little creatures. And I've always wanted to have a pet fox. I've had a pet cat, I've had pet dogs, I've never had a pet fox. And unfortunately, for some reason, foxes are illegal to have as pets. I don't understand why. Fuck the government. In that regard. Hillary. Don't do anything, please. My stupid little cousin asks, What are your plans for the future of your YouTube channel? I pretty much already talked about that. The future is like, get a diverse amount of content, a uh, diverse amount of fans, be active, be uh, talking to them all the time. And uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. And everything else I've already talked about, I don't want to repeat it. But yeah, those are my plans for the future, and I'm hoping that it works out. Xavier asks, have you ever peed in a bottle? I don't know. Why would you ask me that? Oh, my friend Catbug. She asks, 420, why are you such a weep? Sort of dissing it. Why could? Snow Wolf asks, favorite Final Fantasy game if you played them? Of course I played Final Fantasy. What the fuck? Um, it's a generic one. Final Fantasy 7, and it's not because, uh, oh, Cloud and Sephiroth. It's more than that. The reason Final Fantasy 7 is my favorite Final Fantasy game is because, well, I'll have to say the characters in general, you know, like Sid, Yuffie, Vincent, Barrett, Cloud, Sephiroth, and this also includes Crisis Core characters, you know, like Zack, Angeal, Genesis. So, yeah. Another thing is, like, the gameplay. 
it has one of the best turn-based combat systems I've ever played. Not as good as, say, Xenogears. I find Xenogears a better game. But Final Fantasy VII's uh, turn-based combat defined RPGs, and I really wish the remake would have that combat system. But yeah, but yeah, gameplay, story, and characters. The story is one of the best I've ever played, too. Definitely immersive, long, but not too long to the point where it's just tedious. So yeah, that's why I find Final Fantasy VII my favorite Final Fantasy. Dustin asks, for a Q&A, who is your anime waifu and or husbando? Another one of these questions. I don't have a white and or a husband, I am not a weeb. I am not gay. Fuck you. Bam asks, favorite Undertale character and why? Um, I think the simplest answer for me to say who my favorite Undertale character is, is Sans. Mainly for the reason, like, he's funny. Um, he is either your most dangerous enemy or your closest ally. But the main reason why he's my favorite character is because of the puns. I love puns. They're always great to do, always great to hear. And the first time I heard Sans playing a, or saying a pun when I first played Undertale, I just started laughing because of the irony. So yeah, Sans' favorite Undertale character. T-Boy asks, why do you like pink hair? Okay, so this is kind of a legitimate question that I don't mind answering. The reason I like pink hair is because of the way it just simply looks. Um, it's unnatural, which makes it even better. It's not something you see every day. And it's just the way it corresponds to certain people. Like, come on, just admit it. You can't see me with any other hair than pink right now because you're so used to it. And it just makes me who I am because that's what you see. The color just fits uh, things that I do. The color and other things other than myself is like simply how elegant it looks, how pretty pink looks. Like, I used to hate the color pink. And then, you know, characters from, like, Amy Rose from Sonic is really what got me into pink hair. I saw her hair. I liked the way it looked, the way the color was, the way it fit her character. That's what made me start wanting pink hair. So, yeah. Kind of the reason why I like, but it's hard to explain. I just think it's my favorite hair color. Okay, well, that's the end of the Q&A. Sorry if it was... Actually, no, that was actually pretty long. Um... So, I want to do another one of these. I need, I just need like a 15, actually no, 10 or 10 to 20 more questions. Um, if you guys can please leave some more questions in the comments. If you've already asked a question, go right ahead and ask another one here. Um, I will not do another one if I don't get 15 or at least 10 questions. You could do it here on YouTube, on my Facebook page, on my, uh, what's it called, Twitter. So yeah, ask me some questions about anything. It could be like a stupid prank. Or, well, no, not pranks. I won't be doing pranks. That's too risky nowadays. It could be like a dare, a, like, you know, gallon challenge, something like that, or just other simple questions you want to know about me or anything else. So, hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. I look forward to another one. Look forward to your questions. If you're going to ask them, please ask it. some more one question per person. It shouldn't take long. Like, ten people need to ask a question. Simple enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all in my next video. Later. <sighs> okay. That video's done. Glad I got that over with. They almost got us, you know me. They almost got us. Two questions about who my wife was. I just didn't want them to know. It's just, it's a scary world out there. And they found out that I'm in love with you, you know. It just wouldn't work. I know. I love you too, you know me, son. You'll always be my best wife.